welcome back to another episode of shams today we're on our ninth episode i think this will be our final episode on the road to canada this is not a episode about the road to canada this is actually the episode about your work permits if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video if you find the information useful don't forget to leave your comments down below i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so today we're going to talk about your work permits what you need to have and how long will it take and just some other things i think you need to know while you're applying for your work permit so let's get into it so your work permit you can apply for your work permit once you are finished with school you need a document to say that you have completed your your schooling right normally your school will send you that um document i forgot what they call it exactly but they will send you that document that said okay you have completed your course um letter of completion i think it's called um yeah so your school will send you that and you can definitely upload it while you are applying for your work permit after your school is out once the date that the school says okay this is the day that school was completed you have three months you have three months to apply for your work permits i mean you have up to the day so if it's three days before that three months is up you can still apply for your work permit when they say you have three months you have the entire three months in order to do it and i can say that to you because i've had people who i helped get their work permit two days before their deadline so remember to find out remember to get your letter when your school says this is when your schooling ended they will show you how many months you were in school for another thing that you'll need to get for your work permit is your transcript your school will provide you with a school leaving transcript but you have to apply for it it's not something that they will automatically send to you your school your letter of completion which is the one that says that you're finished with school that you will automatically get and if you have a school portal it should be there however your official transcript from your school you have to apply for that so once you got you get that letter or once you know you think it's fair enough time you apply for your school official transcript because you will definitely need that for your work permit application as well there is a application itself for the work permit once you will go through the questionnaire and they grant you that work permit um application then you can actually apply you can actually get the form that you need to apply which is just a, a simple form asking you about your your work history asking you about your schooling and asking about if you have a job offer and stuff like that if you do have a job offer it is good for you if you don't you will get it just the same people normally say wait until you have a job offer before you apply and the reason they say that is because if you are if you are currently finished with school and you don't have a job offer and you apply for your work permit and your work permit comes, then your clock starts to run. And remember, your aim is to get that one year experience on that work permit and you want to get your full one year. So some people will say to you, wait until you get a job or have a job offer before you apply for your work permit. And I'm going to tell you why you can wait and I'm going to tell you, you know, when you have to do it regardless so other things that you need for your work permit they might ask you for a medical record which is just a you know a doctor visit where you go and take your medical and that is if you're working in healthcare, you're going to you're going to need that if you're working with children you're also going to need it and some other jobs you know that allows you to do that and if you, there's a clause that comes on your work permit that says you are not able to work with children or you're not able to work in school settings or you're not able to work in healthcare because you did not provide that medical record so if you want to work in these areas then you you definitely state that in your questionnaire for your application and then they will offer that section where you have to do that medical record okay so you as i mentioned you have three months to apply other than that, you also have three months wait time. So the maximum time that you you it will take you to get your work permit is three months maximum. 
So there are people who got their work permit quicker, faster. That is definitely so. And I'll tell you another way that you can also get your work permit. You can get your work permit quicker and faster if you need it right away. However, if you apply for it online, you have a maximum wait time of three months. Some people, that is a good thing. That maximum wait time for that three months is a good thing. And I will explain to you why I say that. A lot of people don't know that once you apply for your work permit, you have implied status. Implied status simply means that it's a yes until you get a no. So if you're currently on your study permit and your study permit has not ended, that's the key point. If your study permit has not ended, you can work on your study permit for 40 hours, just like when you were working on holidays during holidays, as I mentioned earlier, in our lives, in our, sorry, in our videos, if you are working on the holidays or you're working outside of school, school time, not hours, outside of school time, like a holiday or break or stuff like that, you can work 40 hours a week. Other than that, it's 20 hours a week. Once school is over, your study permit is still up, still um, valid. You can also work 40 hours on that, given that you applied for your work permit. So let me just repeat that again, just in case you didn't hear me properly. So once your permit is still valid, school is out, and you have applied for your work permit, you can work 40 hours per week. Yes, it's called implied status, where your answer is yes until you get a no. Now, with implied status, once you apply for your... your um your work permit during your study permit being valid, if your study permit then becomes invalid, you still have implied status. That's the wonderful, wonderful Canada that we have. Even if your study permit becomes invalid at that time, you still have um, implied status until you get your work permit. So don't haste it. I would say don't haste yourself in getting that work permit. For me, let me tell you what I did. I got a job one month after I finished school. So I want, I applied for, I applied, for, and this is how I found out about it. I applied for my work permit and I explained, I read it and I explained to um, my employer that I have implied status. I printed the, the, the page on CIC, which is Canada.ca. I printed this page on implied status. I, I attached it and let them know what it means. I also had to prove that I actually applied for my work permit. So once I got that application letter that said, yes, you have applied for your work permit, I attached that with the implied status and just gave it to them. My study permit was not yet um, expired and it wouldn't have been expired until November right so I applied in September it wouldn't have been expired until November so by November I should get my work permit so I would have it right throughout but even if your your study permit expires you still have implied status right and I got my work permit three months it took me the maximum time like to the T I mean right on the dot to the t um and i did not know that i would still have implied status so i was kind of worried about it wanting to get the work permit before my study permit ended all right so once you have those documents all you have to do is go online you have to take the survey there's a survey there and you have to press specific things in order to get that work permit um application the application option so once you're able to press those, you click the application option, you upload your documents, you pay your fee. It costs $250 or $255 in order to get your work permit. Once you have that, once you pay your fee, you are on your way to go. You can start working if you have a valid um, study permit and, implied, and your status is currently implied, right? Then you can go ahead and provide the information that I just told you to your employer and you will be able to work. If you have any questions about this, you can come and go ahead and ask me about it in the comment section and I'll definitely show, let you know. That's all I have to say about your work permits. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to share it. 
So if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll answer them as soon as possible.